welcome again. This is exquisite. In today's class, we will be learning about how the image of a concave mirror will appear, when the object is at the mirror's center of curvature. This is a unique position for a concave mirror, and so the image formed is also special and unique. That sounds interesting. Yes, you will see why I said so, shortly. Okay. Again, we start off with our concave mirror. Then, the principal axis, followed by the center of curvature, C, the principal focus, F, and the pole of the mirror, P. Yes, I am very familiar with all those, now. Great. Then we have the object, at the center of curvature. Okay. As always, we will make a ray, from the head of the object, that is parallel to the principal axis. And after reflection on the mirror, it will pass through the principal focus. Correct. Now, it will not be nice if we try to make a ray, from the head of the object, that passes through the center of curvature. Why is it, Sensei? It is because, the object is already exactly at the center of curvature. If we make the ray, it will just go like that. Oh, I see. So, for clarity, I prefer that we ignore that second principle and rather take the third principle, which talks about a ray passing through the principal focus. Okay, I agree. And I remember you said we can use any two of the three principles. Yes, Titi. That's correct. Using any two of the three principles will always give you the same results. Really? Yes, you will always get the same type of image, when you use any two of the three principles. I will illustrate this to you in the next class where it will be clear enough, to make use of any two of the three principles. Okay, I will love to see that. Good. Now, let's continue. So, we make a ray, from the head of the object, that will pass through the principal focus, like that. How do you think it will return after reflection on the mirror? It will return parallel to the principal axis. Correct. Glad to know you still remembered that. Yes. That was easy to remember, because you previously explained the principle of reversibility of light, to me, so nicely. Okay, do you see where the two reflected rays meet? Yes, they meet here, at this point. Correct. And that is where the image is formed. Wow. That image is still inverted. Correct. How about the size? Is it bigger, or smaller than the object? It appears to me that it is of the same size as the object. That is also correct. And where is it formed? It is formed at the center of curvature, C. Now, Titi, can you see the uniqueness with this image, which I earlier talked about? Yes, I see. It has the same size as the object, and it is formed at the same location as the object. That's it. If the object is at C, then the image will look exactly like it except that it is inverted. Yes, I can see that. So, the center of curvature is a point of identity for concave mirrors. That's true. I realize it now. I can also tell you now that the image is real. That's correct, Titi. How did you know? Simple. The image is formed in front of the mirror. Oh, great. You are brilliant. Thank you. And just before we sign out of the class, Will you give me a summary, of the characteristics of the concave mirror image formed, when the object is at the center of curvature? Yes. Simple. Because the image looks very much like the object. 1. The image is inverted. 2. It has the same size as the object. 3. It is formed at C. 4. It is real. Great. In the next class. I want you to start the class, by teaching me what will happen when the object is placed between C and F. Wow, that's a huge task. I will try. I hope I can do it. Anyway, you will be there to let me know when I'm wrong. See you then.